Okie dokie, so today we're talking about photosynthesis and light independent reactions, also known as the Calvin cycle. So this is the half reaction, the half of the reactions at photosynthesis that doesn't require light to happen. And this is going to occur in the stroma of the, chlor of the chloroplast. Okay, so what's going to happen is we're going to have CO2 come in. This is going to be brief, and soon I'll put out a video talking about all the math that happens. But first, I just want to get you guys um, used to kind of what what's happening. So six CO2 is going to come in to the cycle, and um, it's going to combine with some, you have RUBPH here from leftover from the cycle, from last cycle, this will make sense in a little bit, it goes through the enzyme Rubisco, and the CO2 is added to make six PGA molecules, or also called phosphoglycerate, or PGA, the Professional Golf Association, or something like that, that's what I think about, I think about the golfers when I hear PGA, and so that is carbon fixation, we're adding carbons, we're adding the CO2 to the RUBPH to make PGA. Then step two, kind of, we're going to, it's called reduction, and so PGA is going to get turned into PGAL, also called G3P. Um, but to get from PGA to PGAL, we're going to need to put in 6 ATP, and from that, we're going to get out 6 ADP, and assumedly, and then also we're going to put in in ADPH and we're going to put out in a DPH I haven't got that right in a DPH and out of it we're going to get in a DP plus and six waters and our inorganic phosphates okay so now that we've done this we've turned six ATP We've turned ATP into ADP and NADPH into NADP+, the things we started with in the light-dependent reactions. And then we have PGAL, or G3P. And so then one PGAL is going to leave. One PGAL slash G3P is going to leave the cycle. And then we're going to put in some more ATP and get out some more ADP and inorganic phosphates. And that gets us to the RUBPH, which then goes into Rubisco and CO2 again. And we're going to do this cycle again. And so then we have a total of two G3Ps. And it takes two G3Ps, or PGALs, to make one glucose. So for one glucose to be made, this cycle has to go through twice. And that's just kind of a gist about what's going on here. In a later, later I'll talk about all the numbers and where that comes from, because remember, nothing is created nor destroyed, it's just moved around. So later I'll be talking about that. But in a general idea, we take RUBPH and CO2, turn that into PGA, which then by t putting in 6 ATP and in AD, by putting in ATP and in ADPH, we're going to get G3P or PGAL, and then by adding another ATP, we get back to RUBPH, but we lost one PGAL, and because we lost one PGAL, we need to put in more CO2. That's about what's happening in the Calvin cycle or light.